Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another vlog. Um, I just pulled up, literally just now, to my apartment after a, like, two and a half week long break from school, being at home, and then being in Pittsburgh. So I just finished, like, a nine-ish hour drive, and my legs hurt really bad. So, I'm excited to get out of the car and stretch, but as you can see, I have a lot of stuff going on here, more stuff going on in the trunk of my car, and I have to unpack. So that's what we're gonna do right now, but if you're new, my name's Olivia, I'm a chiropractic student in St. Louis, Missouri, and I do things on the internet. So if that interests you, then make sure you subscribe, like, follow me on Instagram, yeah. So what time is it? It's 3.11 and I'm so hungry. And I found out that today is National Eat Whatever You Want Day. And I'm a festive person, I like to celebrate, so that, I think that's what we're gonna do. Before we do that, I need to unpack, not like unpack, unpack all my stuff, like fully, but get it out of my car at least. Because I know if I go get food right now, then take it back to my apartment, I'm not gonna wanna do anything, I'm just gonna like chill for the rest of the night. So I have to get all of this out of my car first, then go get food, then go grocery shopping, and some other stuff. I have it all very strategically planned out in my head. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Okay, I'm back with my Chipotle. I'm so excited about these free chips because I wasn't wasn't expecting it. Um, I'm gonna eat and throw something on the TV, probably like a YouTube video or I don't know. I've been into watching Liz McGuire on Disney Plus. I'm gonna eat my tacos and do that. Comment down below what kind of tacos you like. Because I know some people are like strictly hard shell tacos. I'm the opposite. So I'm nosy and I'm curious. So comment, comment below which type of taco person you are. Oh my God. I'm so excited. I've been getting the same thing at Chipotle since I was like 12. So here is what we are working with in my fridge currently. So. We're gonna stock up. I've made a grocery list in my head, um, and that's gonna be good enough for now. I don't really just don't wanna think about like everything that I need and write it down and whatever. So yeah, we're just gonna get necessities for now, and then if I need anything else, I can run out and get that at a later date. <laughs> back from the grocery store here is everything now that I'm looking at it it doesn't look like literally anything but I guess that just means that I'll realize I forgot something and then have to go out later sometime in the week to get whatever I needed anyways um I went to Aldi's and then I also went to Target tofu um what is this it's literally on the um smoked salmon for bagels um, mushrooms, strawberries, blueberries, zucchini, peppers. I've been doing, um, like cream cheese with everything with the bagel seasoning in these. Very good. Bananas, um, bagels. I usually get my yogurt at Aldi's, but they didn't have the kind I wanted, so I got this from Target. We'll see. It only has two grams of sugar, which is good, but then also not good because it probably doesn't taste as good, but well, you know, it's fine. White rice. I got this Pinot Grigio from all these is literally like six dollars spinach for smoothies mainly i got these at target i love these things if you've never tried these before they're literally fantastic i love them and i bought these for like a snack situation because i'm gonna try to be on campus more and i probably will be on campus more so i want to pack some snacks my favorite tea i was out and then i get these um rice noodles from target when i do my pad thai also from target i didn't need these but like I needed them these earrings I had some that were like this and I either like lost the back to them I had a like set of three and they were all different sizes but I either lost the back to them or just like lost them completely so I needed a good new pair of hoop earrings like this so I got those I'm going to put all this away finally take a shower and I don't know what's gonna happen after that we just need to get past the shower I am out I'm out of the shower, thank God. I feel so much better. I did like the whole bit 
shaved, washed my hair, put like some oils in my hair, exfoliated, did a full skincare moment, all of it. Except look at this. Can you see this? On my chin, hold on. Look at this. They're like symmetrical on my chin. I had this one several days ago and it's like starting to clear up. And then yesterday that happened and I was like, really? It's like just straight down the middle, symmetrical. I feel like, I don't know. I feel, I never had acne like as a teenager, like in high school or anything like that. And I still have very, very good skin. Like I realized that, but I just get random breakouts. It's probably stress and that I'm not drinking enough water. And I've also just been like off my routine. Like I was stressed like the two weeks of finals went home, lived in my driveway for a week. <laughs> um, I, it was in an RV, if you didn't know. Watched the last vlog. And then I went to Pittsburgh with Mike for a week. And I've just been like off my routine. So hopefully my face will calm down a little bit, but I need to, I really am getting like 9.30 p.m. vibes right now, but it's 6.30. So. I don't really know what to do. I don't feel like doing anything else. Maybe I'll put that chair together. I could maybe do that, but I don't feel like unpacking right now. That's gonna be a tomorrow thing. Um, I really wanna sit down with a glass of wine and like watch some TV or something. But I, I feel like that's a 9.30 p.m. vibe, not 6.30. Do you ever drink water and you're like, oh my God, it tastes so good, but it's just water and you're probably just dehydrated. Okay, let's build that chair. I think the tools are in my car still. Can I like walk out and I have shorts on. I'm gonna put pants on. So this chair is from Ikea. It was my parents' house. They moved, gave it to me. Yeah. I don't know what the name of the chair is. I can probably ask my parents and they might know, but it's a nice chair and it's pretty simple. So I could like take it with me the next few years of my life. It would match pretty much anything. I wouldn't necessarily like put my couch with this chair together and be like, yes, it looks perfect, but it is what it is. I feel like I don't have a lot of seating in my apartment that makes it like a good place for entertaining. I'm not sure if I want to put it on that side or that side. And I can move this chaise to like the other side of the couch. I don't really know, we'll figure it out. But we got to put it together first. Okay, this is what I have. I switched the side of the chase, put the chair up over there. I think it's fine. And then I pulled the um, coffee table out a little bit. I think it's okay. Honestly, it's not perfect, but I'm only gonna be in this apartment for like four more months. And then we're on to something else. I might get like a throw pillow, like a cheap throw pillow or something there to add some color, potentially get rid of the vacuum that's been sitting there for six months. Might be a good touch. Tomorrow's Thursday, tomorrow's first day of class. It's about 9.40, I've already got my morning started as you probably saw. Um, and I have breakfast, I'm sitting down to eat breakfast. I was just watching um, my friend, I think we're friends, I don't know. Her name's Alex Garcia, she 
probably has her camera in focus and I don't. She's a law student in Texas and she does like law student videos, grad school videos. And then I was also watching, um, I don't know her last name, but her first name is Tay. She's a medical student um, at UCLA, I think. That's just kind of the vibe of videos that I like um, because I can relate, so yeah. Also, if you're confused, I am a full-time student in the summer. That's just how my program goes. I'm actually going into my busiest trimester of my program. 32 and a half credit hours. It just feels so dark in here because I literally live underground. Like my apartment is like on the first floor, which is four feet below ground. So it just feels dark, but I have my breakfast. I have a lox bagel and some berries. I haven't had a bagel, um, like a lox bagel in so long. And I used to eat them all the time. I also have my coffee. I was going to buy this certain oat milk yesterday, but then I realized I had a full one still in my fridge that was still good um that was from Aldi's but when I was on break when I was in Pittsburgh Mike had this oat milk it's the Chobani extra creamy oat milk oh my god it, it is so good and it obviously wasn't going to be at Aldi's and I looked at Target and they didn't have either so it was a sign that I just shouldn't buy it and use up the one I already have after breakfast I think I'm going to sit down and like do some school stuff um, I don't have any pre-recorded lectures that I can watch anymore. They're doing all synchronous lectures, I'm pretty sure. Um, normally I would sit down and watch some pre-recorded lectures just to get ahead, but they're not doing that this trimester, so I might just get myself organized. Yeah, that's the, that's the plan. Normally I like to be back in my apartment a few days before class starts so I can get myself prepared, prepared. Um, but I had to stay in Ohio a few extra days longer because my sister, Leah, who some of you know, my twin sister, she was unfortunately in a car wreck on Mother's Day. She's fine. I don't think anyone was injured, but it was like five cars involved, pretty messy. So her car was completely totaled. It was bad, not drivable. And so I was bopping around driving her places. It's fine. We're going to get all prepared and it's going to be good. Cheers. Happy. Wednesday. So I decided that before I sit down and like do organization for school stuff that I need to unpack because I haven't done that yet. I've been grabbing stuff out of random suitcases this morning and last night but I haven't unpacked fully. I did laundry at Leah's house while I was home so I like everything clean I had to put it away. And I also cleaned my apartment before I left so I could come back to like not a filthy space. So everything it's pretty clean. Backpack's chilling there. Also watching Harmony. Hi, Harmony. Um, but yeah, I'll probably clean again this weekend, so I don't want to do it unnecessarily. But this is the fit today. But these jeans are H&M. I got them probably like nine months ago. But um, I get so many questions on these jeans every time I put them on my Instagram. They came like this, but one night I was just feeling risky and I cut a hole in them and it turns out pretty good. I wear these all the time. This shirt is from Misguided. I have this um, Ana Luisa necklace on and then I have this that Mike actually gave me. His grandfather gave it to him um, years ago, I think, but he doesn't wear necklaces, so he gave it to me so I can wear it. Yeah. Yeah, that is a bit. I'm going to unpack and then we're going to sit down, grind out some school things. I literally checked my wrist. I haven't worn a watch in like a year. It's two o'clock and I'm just now making lunch. My battery's about to die. Um, but I made lunch. I, where did I put it? Oh, I'm a mess. 
Um, I made pad thai kind of a lot. I don't know how to cook like proper proportions. Um, also, I feel like I only make the same few meals and I need different ideas for things to make for like lunches and dinners. Um, I don't mess with my breakfast. I know what I want for breakfast, but I need some ideas. So if you have like good, easy, simple lunch and dinner recipes, let me know, comment them below. Anyways, I finished, kind of finished setting up my notion for this trimester and I did it a little bit differently. I started doing notion in the middle of my last trimester. So it was a little bit chaotic at every point, but I think I got it down this time. And it's not like finalized, but I think I have a good idea of what I want it to be. So yeah, I'm gonna eat this and then I'm gonna do a little mini notion setup slash notion tour for you. Okay, I got distracted after I ate, but we're doing it now. I'll show you my notion. I don't know if I should do like a screen recording. I don't know if I should do a screen recording situation. That just seems like a lot of work. Also, I'm sorry if you hear some noise. I guess they're renovating one of the apartments above me. So, okay, this is just going to be a brief overview kind of thing. Let me know if you guys want me to do like a full notion tour, like how I set everything up and like how I use it. I have these extra little sections over here, like budget and social media that I really haven't done anything with. And since I'm just getting ready for school, that's what I'm gonna show today. So this is like my quote unquote homepage. Um, it's not cute. I had this cute little like quote here. I know some people make their notion like really aesthetic and I just don't have the time, but like, you know, that's cute. But this is basically kind of like a habit tracker um, in just, I don't know I call it my daily check-in so I just added this so like today if I open that I can have like a different mood to put in and these are my options if shitty and vibing in love life um, and then some habits that I deemed important I might add some but I have those there and then important things like if I just wanted to remind myself of something like tomorrow I have um, that it's my first day of the try. And then I also, oops, on these I have like section for gratitude and then I have a section for to do. Did all that, I haven't finished vlogging yet, I guess. But yeah, so I can do this for every single day there. And then on my school page, I have all of my, um, what are these subjects? And then within them, just for now, I have a course schedule um, that I got off the syllabus and it has, you know, the topics every week, the assignments, quizzes, all that stuff. And then in this section, I'm going to put a link um, to the lecture slides. That way I can get them um, quickly if I need to, or like I'll always have them for board review. And then also I have this, we'll start here. These are like made up things that I just put in for the sake of showing you how this would work but basically this is um what i'm calling a study tracker we're going to see how this works out so basically i would have the topic of a lecture or a certain um study subject i would put the course here and then the score is how comfortable i feel with the material um this column is letting me know when i last studied it and based on the score i gave myself i can like pick a date to revise next and then up here is this information just like in a different format. I have like these dates set up here to correspond to dates up here. Sorry, my cursor is like going crazy. Um, So like it'll show me the next time that I was planning to review like cardio material, for example, is the 17th. So I can like see what's coming up and prepare instead of just like having a ton of stuff in this list and like trying to figure out when I need to do what. It's like in this little timetable, timeline thing here and then for like my classes again I don't have anything in them yet of course but I'm planning to do like revision questions within each section like I did last try I'll show you and these would be questions that like I would use for Anki that one has literally nothing in it <laughs> that one kind of flopped there's a good one so I'll like write questions out for myself while I'm reviewing a lecture and then put the answer 
inside if it wants to show up and then convert those to an Anki deck. But that's the overview. I hope it works out because what normally happens is I start things like this and then I get busy and overwhelmed and like I don't follow through with it. Even though if I followed through with it, I'd probably be less overwhelmed and stressed with life. So we're gonna try to make that happen. Right now I'm going to check my emails. I haven't done that in a while, like my school email, just to make sure I'm on track with everything. I have to go on campus tomorrow. My first class is on campus. Um, oh, see, good to know. Bring your doctor's bag, gown, and shorts. Shorts, I have to shave my legs. I feel actually very chill, which is abnormal for like the day before um, school starts. I'm usually like really in my head and I feel like I need to like over prepare, but I think the fact that there's no pre-recorded lectures this time around is making me more chill because I like don't have to know anything yet until tomorrow then I have to know some stuff. I'm still planning on using my passion planner. I don't really know why since I have this notion set up pretty good, but I have several, several more pages left in it. So I might as well try to use it. So I'm probably gonna set up some of that. And it's nice to just, you know, put pen to paper sometimes because I honestly am going to forget it. Um, I have full days of classes, like 7.30 to 4.30. I'm just going pretty much all week. Um, so yeah, I know I'm going to forget like when I have what class and when I need to log on to what Zoom. Oh, maybe that would be a good idea if I put like the Zoom links for each class on my Notion. That might be a good idea. Except some of my professors, they like, don't, maybe they don't know, I don't know if they don't know how, or if they just don't do it, they don't make reoccurring times for Zoom lectures every week, and they make a new link every week and send it out. That was just one professor last trimester, but I have that professor again this trimester, so... Maybe things have gotten better. I'm I'm finding it difficult to be hopeful in that situation though. This is really bothering me still. I think I'm gonna end off the vlog here. It's, it's already 4 p.m. Um, and I don't have a ton to do still. I'm probably gonna like meal prep a lunch for tomorrow because I'm gonna be on campus. I don't know if I'll stay on campus though, so we'll see. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little vlog. Um, I'm happy to be back, happy to be making content again. I took a break for a little bit. Yeah, I don't really have anything else going on tonight, I don't think, so I'm just gonna end it here so I don't have a stupid amount of useless footage to edit through, because I do that a lot. Thank you guys for watching, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment down below if you're, well, you're probably not starting school in the summer comment below comment below your five most recent or used emojis and the best part of your day today that would be nice but we're almost to a thousand subscribers which is very cool and very exciting i know it's not like a lot of people but it's kind of a lot of people like if i was just sitting here talking to a group of a thousand people like i would it's got a lot of people, you know? That being said, subscribe if you are not already and I will see you guys in my next video. Okay, my battery's flashing. Bye.